Hello, I'm Jack, and let me be your guide on this walk all the way from Cardiff to Newport along the coastal path. Caught the train to Cardiff Station, you can see the old Arms Park in the background, see the new Cardiff rising up, as well as the old Cardiff being converted. And this photograph shows 19th, 20, 21st century Cardiff. Here's the Millennium Centre, beautiful, beautiful buildings on the waterfront. I walked down to the waterfront, and then once I'd got to the water, started going east and reminding that Cardiff is an industrial city, taffies, you've got steelworks, you've got gas works, you've even got kind of kind of got scrap dealers kind of over in the dock. So it wasn't a very pretty walk as you go past the steelworks down towards the river. Walking out of Cardiff, it's all pretty horrible and industrial. And then suddenly you come across this, you can see the other side in Somerset, absolutely beautiful. How fantastic, I'm getting on to Splot Beach, can't wait. You can see my path in red, it was blocked, but I climbed over the barrier and climbed over the barrier at the other end as well, which meant I didn't have to go all the way through Cardiff. You can see the kind of petrochemical works and then up through this path here and then along, I think this is flat home and steep home. You can see in the distance, the path was terrible. Uh, nobody used it. You could see it going off in the, in the distance, but when I got down there, I couldn't get through there was some weird quarry. So I bashed my way through all these bushes and the buggers, well, they've blocked the path off and they keep on going up here to get round some sort of quarry or industrial site. There is a road up there, but I'm gonna try and get through here. This lovely man saved my bacon, directed me across the road, the busy, busy road. There's a parallel path. Unfortunately, an awful lot of fly tipping. So it was a uh, pretty horrible, uh, difficult work getting through. Back out onto the path. Uh, I suppose it was a shortcut, I'm covered in burrs, what a walk. So it was a long trudge around this uh, inlet here, uh, going all the way around, uh, mainly on the road, but they do take you off on kind of parallel paths, which was nice, so get a bit away from the traffic. And then back to the river, you can see the Bund on the right hand side, these are almost like gravestones, and look, it's to Spud, what a great name. And these, these were gentlemen, they were wildfowlers, fishermen and gentlemen. It's a good epitaph. You've got the lowlands there, they're kind of salt marsh. I think this is a bird hide, and as you get closer, you, know, you get to see all the migrating birds, which would be good. This is for fish, we've established that before, for salmon, still plenty of mess around the place but also rather beautiful. You can see the church there, which I was aiming for my first day. This is the path down at the church, sadly empty now, uh, but you can see across the channel as well. Uh, there's a tsunami here, amazingly, in 1607, and to the Six Bells, where I caught a bus back to Newport, the Six Bells now uh, abandoned, really. Okay, back to where I started. Now on to Newport. See you there. So back to the Six Bells, back to the church, which was all chained up, and down, down this hobbit path back to the water. You can see it's pretty well signposted, well done. And you can also look back along the flatlands to Cardiff. You can see Steep Home and Flat Home in the distance. And this is my path along the Bund. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. Get past Newport and you get here. It's a beautiful day in late October, hardly anybody around. If you look inland, you see really fertile land. Out to sea, it's more kind of salt marsh with the occasional inlet with kind of water going out into the channel. Uh, and uh, absolutely beautiful day with a golf course of all things on the left. I was surprised to see that. Uh, very well signposted. Thank you, Welsh Coastal Path. The tide was coming in, so the mud was going. A 270 degree viewpoint. We can see Cardiff and its docks. As you scan round, you start to come onto Penarth and then the end. And then you see these islands that are out in the middle of the channel. And they look great. And if I come back round here, then we go all the way round. There's Somerset on the other side. And we're coming round here now. And the sun's out, late October, it's absolutely beautiful. Now if I come back here, you'll see past Newport. So there we are, we're doing the middle section of the walk, the beautiful section with beautiful views on either side now, which is really nice, really lush green, we've had an awful lot of rain. I think these are Frisian cows, I'm not sure, but I think so. 
And we're starting to say goodbye to the estuary now because Newport is starting to uh, come into sight. The fishermen will lay down. I think the tide's coming in, so they're getting very excited. I can see the power station. Newport, transporter bridge. And they're coming down past the docks. Here we go, East Usk Lighthouse. And look, there's a boat coming out. Then we've got four windmills generating electricity. And an older tech, we've got the plant B gas powered fire station and then the coal power fire station. You don't get many boats coming out of these once mighty ports Newport, Cardiff, Barry Island, Port Talbot, Swansea, Clenethley. The end of the days of the South Wales Industrial Belt is really well and truly over. So I think it's very fortunate to see this beauty going out into the channel and then kind of going off west with its uh, two tugs behind it. It's a beautiful sight uh, as we get towards the evening. Still got the lowlands on the right. And I think this is the West Usk Lighthouse. What a beauty. You can stay there now as a bed and breakfast if you book it in time. There's the power station. B station and the A station and there's a tug we do love a tug and my son Daniel well he loves electricity pylons because he works in the electricity industry that's just for Daniel and here's the tug now kind of going out to sea and some very smelly cows uh, uh, so I was going back inland now over the railway bridge past the school that I'd been on the bus past and then into housing estates because we're getting into Newport now it's still a river to get across the Ebu and you can see the kind of the late afternoon sun looking beautiful in October. That was nice. This underpass doesn't look so beautiful and neither does the kind of shopping centres that I was kind of walking past. And then suddenly you see the transport bridge. It's a magnificent sight. Uh, and here's the visitor centre, which will be a magnificent sight. I got as far as this on my last walk, the cabin that you, takes you up. That's it. I finished. From Swansea to Chepstow, over about five years. This is the finishing point. Well done, Jack. So there you are, Cardiff to Newport, and we're finishing off the magnificent site of the Transporter Bridge. This means that now I've finished all seven walks in the, the nine walks in the last book. So I'm very pleased about that. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you watch the other videos. And if you've got this far, please like and subscribe. I'd be very grateful. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.